Hello! It is the night of Sunday, October 13th. It is about 11.42 at night right now. The spookathon begins in like 20 minutes and I am freaking stoked. Freaking love the spookathon so much and I can't believe it's already here to be honest. And if you're wondering, I got a new camera. I got a Canon GSX power shot camera and I'm obsessed with it. And so that is what I'm gonna be filming these Spookathon vlogs on. I just really wanna like test this camera out because this is the camera that I'm planning on taking with me when I go to New York next month. Anyways, you don't need to know that, but if you if you were wondering why it might look a little bit different, it's because I got a new camera and I'm like really excited about it. So I kind of want your feedback too. Like if you think this camera is as high quality of a camera as my other camera that I usually film with, that's not what this is about. I just wanted to update you that I want to start this readathon off with reading the chain, which I actually just got checked out from my library today. It was really like really perfect timing to be honest. I was on the whole list for a while there and I thought if it didn't get checked out to me in time then I was gonna have to buy it. But the library has come in the clutch so I'm gonna be starting this on my phone and I think I'm just gonna like lay in bed and start reading on my phone because it is almost midnight and I've had a very long day at work. I worked all day today since 10 30 a.m. Yeah, we're just gonna have a chill night and I will see you in the morning. I am so excited. Good morning! It is day one of the Spookathon. I am so freaking excited about this. Last night, I got 70 pages into the chain. On my phone, it reads as 447 pages. So, I mean, I barely made a dent, but I got to chapter 13. I like that it's like really short chapters. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely intense so far, you know, because the whole thing about this book is it's about these parents who have to go and abduct another child in order for their child to be released from being abducted. And so it's pretty good so far. Today is actually a pretty busy-ish day for me, kind of. I was planning on filming this YouTube video that I need to film for Wednesday, this morning. If you can hear in the background, the guys are like drilling in the basement of the building again. Like I swear they're doing maintenance on this building like all the time now. And so I decided to start some laundry right now and then I think I'm just gonna eat breakfast and then read something right now. And then like later today, there's gonna be a lot going on later today. Later today, I have to go into work this afternoon at like 3.30 to do an interview for our restaurant. And then I have to do my assistant manager reviews for at 4 and 4.30. And then the Taylor Swift tickets for Loverfest go on sale at 4 this afternoon. So like in between the interview and the assistant manager reviews, I'm gonna be trying to get tickets to Taylor Swift because holy shit, like I can't believe that's today. Yeah, and then after that, my sister actually gets off of work at four. We're probably gonna go out shopping because we need to get really nice like coat and attire for New York for when we go because as of today, it's three weeks until I go to New York. Like holy shit, it's happening so fast. Later today, it's gonna be a pretty jam-packed day. So that's why I'm hoping I can read something in the morning. I think I might read the graphic novel that I have this morning so then I can at least say I've gotten one book done today because you know, chances of that happening otherwise are slim. I also just got some book mail and I wasn't sure what it was. It says it's from HarperCollins, but I just opened it and I haven't looked yet. Oh my gosh, cute. Oh my gosh, it's Get a Life Chloe Brown. How cute is this? Oh my god, cute. They like sent a little cute note and a card and this little like book. It's like a little notepad. How freaking cute. That is so sweet. Anyways, I'm really excited to read that. I'm probably gonna be reading this book in November. This book actually does come out November 19th and I've been hearing a lot of people talking about this one. So that's super cute. Anyways, I need to go eat and read something to start off this day. I came to Vitality Bowls for breakfast because that's my brand, I guess. He most laws, rules, and ordinances. He knows that school bored him, but he somehow managed to get accepted to Boston University to study civil engineering. At BU, he just about maintained- She has no choice but to wave to him through the window. Get him. like a little bit after one 
in the afternoon and I just finished reading Adam Tine, Adam Teen. And this was okay. Like I honestly feel more confused after finishing this than anything. And so I feel like this one's probably gonna end up being like a two star book for me. Like I just thought it was really like okay. Like the graphics were like not the best I feel like. Like it was going back and forth between these two stories. One of them had a black border and then the other one has the white border. I don't know like the imagery is just okay. Like some of it was really dark and you can barely even see like what is going on and maybe that's the point of it but I just found it kind of like difficult to read and I also thought it was like a little bit confusing as far as like storytelling goes and the main character was like incredibly uninteresting so I don't know about this one like I feel like this one was not that great and it kind of sucks because I feel like I always read graphic novels that are just very disappointing during Spookathon <laughs> you know like last year like Black Hole was like really disappointing to me and it was also a two star book and then this one's also a two star book. It's like, it has these really interesting premises, premises, because like this one is about all these people who are on this kind of like creepy abandoned train. Well, they were on a train, like going somewhere and then they wake up and the train has stopped and the train is abandoned and it's like super creepy. And apparently this, there's this like boogeyman that has like taken them or something. I don't know, it was just very strange. The ending was ambiguous, which I usually do like because the rest of the book was also so confusing. It's just like that ending just gave you a million more questions to all the questions you already had. So it's just like, wait, what? Like, would not recommend. Um, but now, really quick, I'm going to be filming that booktube video that I have to film for Wednesday that I'm very, very, very excited about. It's actually gonna be announcing a readathon that I'm doing with Kayla. I can't even believe that I get to say that. Like, that is so freaking cool because she is my favorite booktuber and I'm just so freaking stoked, like honestly. <laughs> I still have some time before I have to go into work this afternoon. So I've been listening to the Chain audiobook as well because I didn't realize that I had the Chain audiobook checked out for three weeks from my library and I only have 11 days remaining on this audiobook. I was waiting, like I didn't want to return it yet until the Spookathon so that I can listen to it during the Spookathon. And now I'm listening to it and I'm on part three out of nine and I've just been kind of listening to it when I'm like doing other stuff this morning so hopefully I'll be able to get through more of the chain today while I'm like busy doing other stuff which is nice because I'm enjoying this book now like it's getting real good and I can't wait to see where it goes so I'm gonna film this video real fast Kylie Rachel screams I'm trying to get Taylor Swift tickets it's fucking bullshit there's 2,000 people in front of me and it started freaking minutes ago now it started at four like i don't think i'm gonna get tickets <laughs> i'm fucking scared i mean it's moving though it's moving but like it could be hours before we get to the end of the line this is My stupid biggest fear is it gets all the way down there and then at the end it's gonna be like no it just stops i know like no more tickets like you it took too long like they're a solo Oh my god, dude, it's five o'clock and we're still waiting. We're about like halfway through, so it's probably gonna be another hour of waiting. But hopefully there's still tickets available by the time they get to us, because what the fuck is this? Oh my gosh, you guys, progress. Only 1,200 people and it's literally almost six o'clock. We've just been sitting in here. I'm at work right now, like this sucks. <laughs> we haven't been able to leave for like two hours because I didn't want to lose my spot in line, but hopefully it will all be worth it. Uh, it's happening. I'm so excited. Very. So fucking stoked. 265. Holy shit, dude. It's getting real. Like, it's getting really, really real. 185. 145. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, dude. Wait, is it recording? Yeah. Okay. Dude, oh, there's only 145 people in front of us now. Oh. Oh, like 105. I feel like I have to pee. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, this is it. 105. 105. 105. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like I have to pee myself. Okay, it's go time. Get your fingers ready. <laughs> my fingers are fucking ready. I'm going to upset 80. 80. Dude, we got in exactly two hours. I know. Yeah, we're getting by six. 49. 49. 49. 49. Oh my god. Exactly. 
59. Let's go, bitch. What's happening? We've been waiting for two hours. Good things. How many people that wait? 14. 14 fucking people. Oh my god. Is again, it gonna load? Again. Is it just gonna like take yes, us? Yes. Yes. Oh yes. God. Once you reach the front, your page will automatically refresh and you may shop for tickets. Okay, so don't press anything, okay? <gasps> Dude, I'm really gonna pee myself. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, so we got in, but all of these seats are not available, so we went on StubHub and we bought tickets and we're getting fucking floor seats. We're gonna be like row 28, somewhere right here in the fucking stadium. Dude, look how like, fucking honestly gonna massive shake. this stadium is. I know, dude, it's fucking huge. Like, look at all, look these, at all these seats. Scenes. I know, that's zoomed in like all the way. Like, if you out zoom, it's like, oh my the god, this biggest. is the biggest fucking stadium. Well, dude, it just keeps going. I know. No, oh it's huge. God. And we're gonna be like, oh, right there. Shit. Like, holy shit, I'm so excited. We've never had floor seats before for a Taylor concert. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yo, never. We're floor, dude. This is like where, like, this is like where we were sitting for like the rep tour. We're fucking floor. So we're gonna be in those ghetto white seats? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dressing up like Holy it's gonna be the best day of our lives, honestly. Shit. I'm so fucking so <laughs> We could have just bought these tickets like two hours ago. <laughs> Don't talk about that. <laughs> Dude, we got them though for like 400 bucks, like for four seats. That is not bad at all. Not bad at all, dude. <laughs> We're going to LA Beach. We're going on July 26th, which I thought we were going to go to the first show, but we're going to go to the second show, which is good because now we'll know what to expect, oh I guess. <sighs> okay, it was well worth all that stress and anxiety and hours of sitting here because um, I'm just so fucking excited. Like, I can't even fucking believe this is happening. Okay, let's go. I go find Mr. Boo. We need Mr. Boo. Rachel says, Mr. Boo, Mike Wonders. We are here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, how do you try on beanies to know if they look cute without getting lights? How oh, cute! Those are cute. Love Forever 21. Oh wow. Oh yeah, that's super cute. I know. Does it feel snug? Or like good? Yeah, it's good. See, look where it is on my hands. That's extra small? This is extra small. The only it's thing is like, it. if I zip it, it gets a little like a tight in here. See? But would you zip it? I think it's cute. It's cute, huh? Yeah, it's super cute. And wow. I wish you could remove his belt so you don't want to. But I kind of You don't want the jingle? The <laughs> jingle is just dead. Cute, though, huh? Yeah, it's super cute. Should I try it with this one? Or do you guys. I mean, this idea? one looks like perfect size on you. Yeah, see, this is why I'm confused because the arms is perfect. <laughs> but this is not. It's just a little, I guess it's fine. Yeah, I gotta get used to it. <laughs> yes, bitch. All right, so it's been a pretty long afternoon. I can't believe, so we ended up like waiting at work for like two hours for those Taylor Swift tickets. But it's been such a long afternoon. Like the whole reason why I went to work today was because we were supposed to do an interview with this guy and he ended up calling the restaurant like an hour before the interview saying that he didn't want to go to the interview anymore that got canceled and i ended up having to be there anyway to do the assistant manager reviews but then we just sat in the office for two hours trying to get taylor swift tickets which i was not expecting it to take that long <laughs> we went out shopping because i was trying to find like a nice i want to get like a really nice jacket for new york so that we're like warm when we're walking around and because it's been pretty cold out even in washington this year, I kind of chickened out when I was in Abercrombie because the one that I really wanted to get was like $120. So like anytime I make a purchase that's more than like $50, I kind of like freak out and need to think on it for a little bit longer. So I'm probably going to think about it for the next couple of days and then probably go back and get it because it was really cute. But yeah, it was a nice night. It was kind of like busy and um, it was like a longer night out than I was expecting because it's already like... 8 15 now but i have been listening to the chain audiobook almost all day while i've been like driving around and while i've just been like sitting around doing nothing so i am on part six now out of nine i'm on chapter 44 and i'm still really enjoying it like i'm thinking that it's really awesome so i'm just gonna like take a shower and like relax for a minute and maybe get back into the chain 
and like maybe read more. I don't know what's going, I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. I, I, I don't know. So it is just after 11 o'clock at night and look at what just came in the mail finally, Pet Cemetery. By Stephen King and I actually really wanted to read this after I watched Zoe's reading vlog of this book. I'll link it down in the description if you haven't seen it but she made this video called like reading Stephen King in the dark and she read this book in that vlog and it really just inspired me to want to read this book for some reason because it's one of the many Stephen King books that I have not gotten to yet. So I think I'm going to be reading this one immediately after the spookathon is over. So let me know what your thoughts are on Pet Cemetery and if it's one of the Stephen King books that you enjoy. But um, as of a reading update, I am now on chapter 49 of The Chain. I mean, it is only 11 right now and I don't wake up tomorrow morning until like 9, so maybe I can read it. I think I'm just gonna lay in bed and eat some candy and try to finish reading this book. I also finally finished editing this video that I filmed earlier this morning. That's the buzzword readathon announcement with Books and Lala, who's my favorite booktuber, which I'm like so freaking excited about. And I can't even believe that that's gonna be happening next month. I mean, wow. Next month is just gonna be so freaking wild. <laughs> First, I'm going to New York and then I'm gonna be co hosting a readathon with my favorite booktuber. Like, I am so freaking lucky. <laughs> Good morning, it is day two of the Spookathon. I am on my way to work. I work until eight tonight. It's about like 9.30 in the morning right now. And I just woke up to 50,000 Instagram followers. 50K. Anyways, that's pretty crazy. Um, last night, I have been reading The Chain still and I'm at the last part of the audiobook. I'm on chapter 70. This book is good, but it's definitely like lost its momentum, I feel like, in part two. And it's taken on that turn where you're kind of like waiting for the main character to realize the plot twist that you've already realized. <laughs> or at least for me, like the second plot twist was like very, very obvious. And you're just kind of like waiting for the main character to catch on. But I mean, it's still like really good. Like at this point, I'd still give it four stars if it like continues to be like as good as the whole book has been because it's just very intense. Like the idea of this chain is like very intense. So yeah, hopefully I can finish that maybe like on the way to work or at least at some point today. I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna be finishing it today. Oh my gosh, dude, I feel so shitty this morning though. And like last night, like I didn't sleep well. Because I have like the worst fucking cramps. It sucks. So I need to eat so I can take some serious medication before work. Mixed and mastered by John Colucci. The chain is also available in Hello. It is about two o'clock in the afternoon and I am at work right now. I'm on break. And I just finished listening to the chain audiobook. And it was alright. It was good. I think I would give it like a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Dude, I am freaking obsessed with Haritos pineapple drinks. Oh my god. I love pineapple so much. But anyways, the chain was good. I think, yeah, I think I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. Like, it was really good and then the ending got kind of not so good. And the ending got super, like, predictable and the plot twist was so freaking obvious to me. Like, I was just waiting for the main character to, like, realize it. The beginning of the book was still really good that I think I would still, like, recommend it, you know? Like, it's still, like, a really intense thriller. It kind of reminded me of, like, No Exit in that way, but it was good. But I'm just excited that book number two for the Spookathon is complete on day two. Like, I'm reading so much more than I thought I was going to be able to, to be honest. <laughs> I'm really wanting to start And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie next, so maybe I'll have to start that tonight when I get home. I got home early from work. And um, I just whipping out, I'm just busting out a quick dinner real fast. This has kind of been like my go-to now. I just put a bunch of asparagus down and then I put olive oil over it and then pepper and salt. And then I squeeze half of a lemon over it and then use the other half for like slices. And it's really cute. And then you just put it in the oven at 425 degrees and you let it cook for about 10 minutes. And it's lit. <laughs> I also really like making these Cracker Barrel mac and cheese when I eat it as well. And um, these are like really quick, like single bowl serve. Like you just put it in the microwave and then add in the cheese and mix it. And it's really freaking good. And it has these breadcrumbs too that are like so freaking good in it. So this kind of 
has been my go-to meal for the last few months <laughs> because it's so easy to make after work, like just to throw the asparagus on a tray, put some olive oil and pepper and salt and just throw it in the oven for 10 minutes. And then this just heats up in the microwave for four minutes. So it's a really quick meal after work that I really like. Also my fabulous coworker Isaiah actually found the pineapple Haritos cause I've been telling him I was looking for like the two liter bottles of it everywhere and I couldn't find it like anywhere. So he was so sweet. He went to the store and like bought it for me today. Like what an angel. I was feeling very like in the Halloween spirit tonight. So I wanted to get some like cookies, but I couldn't find the like Halloween themed cookie dough that they have, you know, with like the ghosts and the pumpkins and stuff. So instead I just ended up getting these sugar cookies and these ones that are like pecan turtle delight. Like they have a caramel and shit in there. It looks so freaking good. My sister was going to get rid of her like bed frame and she asked if I wanted it because I've never had a bed frame before and I thought it would be nice to have like space under my bed to put books and like anything like storage. And so I said yes and we kept my bed spring and the mattress on here and the mattress topper and it's like so tall dude. Like it literally goes like above my freaking hips like that's how tall this bed is now and I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> my feet hang off the edge so far. They um, are pretty far off the ground. <laughs> All right, and dinner is served. <laughs> I got these cute ass little like mini Coke cans. Man, I really wish you could smell this mac and cheese because I know it doesn't look like much and it looks kind of maybe gross on camera, but dude, it's so freaking good. If you just look along <laughs> the background, they just have these like random ghosts. It's like so creepy. <laughs> it is uh, nearly midnight now and um, for the last couple of hours, I've just been watching The Haunting of Hill House. I actually am re-watching it because it's like literally one of my favorite shows of all time. And we're re-watching it because my sister's boyfriend has never seen it. And I just think it's like such a great show. And re-watching it has just made me so fucking happy. And it reminds me like why I love the show so much. That show is a lot, but I feel like it's so perfect for October. Like it's the most... October vibes show for me because it's just so creepy, but it's so freaking good And honestly like Theo is one of my favorite characters like ever like she is such a Badass and she's just so cool and I just love everything about her character like she's fascinating to watch It's like almost midnight right now So I might start another book tonight, but if not like I have the day off tomorrow, so I might just be reading all day tomorrow I haven't been feeling the best, to be honest, like today and yesterday. I've just had like really bad cramps and I've just been wanting to like lay in bed all day. So I might just like lay in bed all day tomorrow. I don't really know what the plan is. But you know, now that my bed is like so freaking high off the ground, I mean, I might just stay in bed. Hello, it is day three of the spookathon. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm so like embarrassed right now because like last night I decided to sleep last night without setting an alarm for this morning because I was like, you know, I haven't been feeling very well lately and I was like, and I just want to sleep once without an alarm. <laughs> Guess what time I woke up? I woke up at 11.30. Holy shit, oh my god, I haven't slept in that late in like so long. I feel like I'm kind of like behind on my day even though I didn't have anything going on today really. I just ordered an acai bowl because I'm a basic bitch and that's my life now. And I'm gonna start reading and then there were none as soon as I get back to the apartment. And yeah, and then my dad just texted me and we're gonna do dinner at Red Robin later tonight around five. I have somewhat of a day planned, but I think I'm really just gonna dedicate my day to like reading this book because I'm really excited about it. Oh my God, freaking 11.30. And now that I've like gotten up and refreshed myself and everything, it's almost like 12.30. I just feel so behind, oh my gosh. This morning my video went up that was announcing Buzzword Readathon with Kayla and I watched Kayla's video this morning and it honestly just made it feel so much more real to me. Like this is actually happening. Like I'm co-hosting a readathon with my favorite booktuber. Like what even is my life, you know? It's just, it's crazy. I need your names. I decided the most fun thing to do would be to imagine what my life would be like and what people would say about my life if I did all the same things, but if I was a man. Holy shit. 
I love this song. I would be complex. I would be cool. And I'd be the man. I'd be the man. I'd be the man. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Okay, before I start actually reading, I really need coffee first. And I know you're like, you still haven't started reading because it's like almost two o'clock. And you know, you're probably right, but um, I'm just gonna uh, make some coffee real fast and then reading will happen. It's two o'clock now. I have my coffee, I have my book, and there will be no more distractions. <laughs> I'm starting this book and I'm gonna read for these next few hours and not stop reading until I go to dinner with my dad because that is the only way this book is getting done today. Dude, how many times is this book gonna use the word queer? <laughs> Everything somehow was a little queer. Yes, the guests were queer too. Literally, it said the word queer like every freaking page so far, I feel like. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> I mean, I understand that this was written in like 1940, so it was definitely a different time, but like, still it's very repetitive. I'm only 27 pages into this and it's been like almost 40 minutes I'm not gonna lie, I did get distracted and I picked up my phone and checked Instagram. Oh my gosh, this writing is so hard to get into because, like, obviously I knew it was written in 1940, but, like, for some reason I didn't think about the fact that, like, it's probably gonna take longer for me to read because it was written in 1940. Like, the language is just different and it kind of reads, like, historical fiction or something, you know, because they're all arriving to the island in, like, their carriages and whatever. I'm just gonna try to push through because, like, Part of me is like really not wanting to read this now, like at least right now in this moment, like not really feeling it, but because I literally just posted on my Instagram that this is my next book and that people are already saying like, oh my god, I can't wait to see what you think of it. And like, I know like ever since I posted my TBR with this book on it, everybody's been saying it's like one of their favorite books of all time and that they really want to hear my thoughts on it. So I'm like, ugh, pressure. So I think I'm just going to push through and try to get through the first 100 pages at least before I decide if it's something that I want to continue reading or not, just for the sake of everyone else. <laughs> Hello, um, it's been a couple of hours. It's like about 4.20 in the afternoon right now. Just painted my nails black again. They were kind of looking like chipped earlier, so I wanted to paint them again. Sorry I keep like looking up. I'm like so not used to having autofocus or a viewfinder, so I'm just constantly checking to make sure that it's in focus. Got about 60 pages into and then there were none, and I am just not feeling this book. I mean, maybe I'll pick this book back up again someday, but like for a readathon, it's taking me forever to get through this. Like those 60 pages took me like an hour and a half. And like, I know I was definitely like getting distracted and I was checking Instagram and watching YouTube and I just could not focus on this book. And I feel like part of it is because of the writing style because it's written in a very, very like historical fiction kind of way. And it's kind of like boring me out of my mind. So I just pulled off a couple of other books off of my shelves that I really want to read. One of those is The Dead Girls Club. And I know that this book is technically on my TBR for the night marathon, but like, I just want to get to something that's going to interest me and I don't want to like lose momentum during this readathon since I've already read two books. Like I, I at least want to read two more probably before the end of the week. So maybe when I get back from dinner, I'll start this one. I also pulled The Last Witness off of my shelves because this one is a very short young adult thriller. So if I need to get through something fast, maybe this would be a good option. And I also pulled Sharp Objects by Jillian Flynn off my shelves because this is another adult thriller that's pretty short. It's like 240 or 260 pages or something. I also just wanted to mention that I'm currently listening to the audiobook for Undercurrents by Nora Roberts. I've never actually read anything by Nora Roberts before. This is my first one and I'm on part four now out of 15 parts. It's a pretty long audiobook, but it's a pretty lengthy book, I guess. And so far it's good. It's kind of hard to read. I know it's not very spooky. This one's like a romantic suspense contemporary-ish kind of book. But so far this book is really intense. Like there is a lot of trigger warnings for abuse. Like it's some of the worst 
abuse I think I've ever read in a book so it is not easy to read but the audiobook is very intriguing and I just got to part two so I'm currently reading this as well I guess not that this really applies for the spookathon but you know just thought I'd let you know I just got home from dinner it was very lovely and my robin was very good as usual I got a shake it was an oreo shake and I don't know what it is with me and Oreo things lately, but I just like need them, I guess. I don't even like Oreo that much, to be honest. But like yesterday we got that Oreo cake and then today I just needed an Oreo shake. So maybe I'm becoming an Oreo person. <laughs> Before I left, I started the Dead Girls Club and I got a solid 15 pages into it. I only got to chapter two, but the first chapter was really interesting and I'm very intrigued and I think this is gonna be my next read. Like it's just it's just happening. And I decided that I think I wanna make some cookies right now because It's about 12.30 in the morning now, and I feel like today, as far as readathons go, was a complete failure <laughs> because I just could not get into anything I was reading today. I still only got about 30 something pages into the Dead Girls Club, and I think I'm enjoying it, but I'm just like for some reason like not able to concentrate on anything I'm reading today. It's just one of those days, I guess. I mean, I guess I still collectively like between the two books I attempted to read today, I read about a hundred pages worth because I read about 60 of and then there were none. And then I read about 30 something of the Dead Girls Club. But uh, I, don't, I don't know, it's just one of those days where I'm like struggling with reading. We actually ended up watching two more episodes of The Haunting of Hill House tonight. I just love that show so freaking much and like re-watching it is honestly giving me so much life. And so yeah, that is all for today. I think I'm gonna jump back try to read this one again tomorrow. But tomorrow I do have a full day at work. I'm working all day and I'm the closing manager so I'll be there all night. I work a double tomorrow and then I work a double again on Friday and then I work a half shift Saturday and then I work a double on Sunday. This whole week, I'm working 45 hours this week, which is a little bit more than normal for me. So hopefully I want to try to finish at least one more book, like which I would really like to finish this book this week and then maybe try to squeeze in one more book. Like I keep looking at The Last Witness because it's so short. Like I could maybe get this done in like one or two nights, but we'll see. Like I don't want to push myself because like I don't want to get into a slump or something, you know, but but yeah, but now it's about 12.30, so I think I'm just gonna try to like lay down and go to bed. I don't think I'm gonna attempt to read anything right now. It's just too late. See you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It is day four of the Spookathon, and I am on the way to work, and I didn't read anything last night. I actually stayed up until like 1.30 in the morning trying to edit some of this vlog, because it's already like 30 minutes long or something by this point, which I didn't realize I had that much footage. I'm going to be taking my current read with me to work at the Dead Girls Club, and hopefully if I get a break today, then maybe I can read some of that when I'm on break. I'll see you later. I have a full day at work today, so. I don't know how much vlogging there's gonna be today. <laughs> it's like raining and sunny right now somehow. What a weird day today is. Yum. Chicken carbonara for dinner, yum. She made biscuits. What's it called? Garlic monkey bread, holy crap, what? It is now about 10.40 at night and I just ate a quick dinner that was really amazing that my sister made and now I just need to edit this video that I just filmed the other day real fast because I want this one to go up tomorrow and then after that I shall read. <laughs> it's about 12.20 
in the morning right now. And I am on page 66 of the Dead Girls Club. Some spooky shit is happening in this book, like right now. <laughs> and it's mainly following these two very young girls that are like 12 or 13. And they're just talking about this like red lady that is like haunting people. Like there's like these old stories about this red lady and the one girl is like, but how do you know if she's real? And then the other little girl is like, she is real. And the other little girl is like super creepy. But I am enjoying it so far, so I'm just gonna jump right back into reading it right now. <laughs> Hire my mom? For like what? For like my administrative assistant? No shit. None. You get your business going, Sally. Damn straight. I am currently in the Starbucks drive through just like getting some breakfast and coffee and stuff before work because I am working a double today. And um, last night I got about like 90-ish pages into the Dead Girls Club. I am enjoying it a lot more and I'm hoping that it stays like consistently creepy, but like, oh my God, I was just so tired last night and I like passed out so hard at like one in the morning. But yeah, so tonight I'm, I'm working this morning from 10.30 until 8 and then hopefully I can maybe finish it tonight. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing tonight. I'm on my lunch break and um, it's pouring outside today, even though you can't even really see it, to be honest. You can't even see it on my camera. <laughs> it's raining so hard. Ooh, yes. This is a good lunch lunch break, yeah. Look at these fries, oh my gosh, it's so HD. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I just realized that that book, Modern Love, the one that I just read last month, that was like an anthology, like collection of short stories that I really, really loved, is apparently now an Amazon show. Like it just started and it has my girl freaking Anne Hathaway and like Tina Fey, Dev Patel, Olivia Cook, like what? I had no idea that this was a thing and now I like need to see this, but I really, really loved this book last month. Like, holy shit, my mind is blown. And it's about 11:30 ish and it was a very long day at work today, not gonna lie. It was a pretty long day. We got really, really busy at work and I ended up staying like 20 minutes later than I was supposed to but it was fine, like it was a busy night and then I just came home and made a quick dinner. I made my usual, like my asparagus with that mac and cheese cracker barrel stuff. And then me and my sister watched the first two episodes of the new Paul Rudd Netflix show. It's called Living With Yourself or Living With Myself or something. Oh my gosh, it's so good, like it's so funny. And Paul Rudd plays like a clone of himself as well as himself. Like it's just very, very interesting. The show kind of feels like dark matter, but like in a more comedic way. <laughs> I really like, it's just, it's great. I got to page 90 last night and then I fell asleep. But right before I went to bed, I read like the scariest scene and it like creeped me out so bad because it was like talking about this lady being like under the bed and like thumping around under the mattress and just like it was really creepy because I, I was obviously like alone reading this book at like at, like after midnight like by myself in my room and I just got like totally freaked out by this book so I think I'm gonna jump back into it now hopefully I can finish this book soon I'm just like not feeling very motivated to read for some reason today and yesterday and I don't know what's going on but I have the morning off tomorrow. I don't go into work until tomorrow afternoon around like 4. So I have all of tonight to read as late as I want. And then I have tomorrow morning to read. And then I work all day again on Sunday. But, you know, we're not going to talk about that right now. I think I realized what has been so hard about like trying to get into this book. Because I really like the chapters that are from the past. Like when they were little girls. And when they actually had like the dead girls club, like I'm really interested in those chapters. But then the chapters that take place in the present day when she's an adult, like I'm just really not that interested in. I'm just really not that interested in these present day chapters. And I find myself like skimming through those chapters, just wanting to get back to when they were little girls because it's a lot more interesting. We did it. We made it to the end. Um, I'm very underwhelmed <laughs> by this book. 
I really thought I would love it, but I'm feeling like this is probably going to end up being like a two-star rating. I don't know. I'll talk about it more with you tomorrow, but thumbs down. Good morning. Last night, I stayed up pretty late finishing The Dead Girls Club, and I did end up being pretty disappointed by this book, and I ended up giving it two stars. And I feel like this book had so much potential to be great, and it was just kind of like boring. I did like the flashback chapters in the beginning of this book with the younger girls and like the stories about the red lady and like some of it really did like spook me. But then the present day chapters were so freaking boring and the main character was so freaking obnoxious that it just kind of like killed it for me hype wise. And I felt like the ending was very predictable and drawn out and I just found myself skimming a lot of the ending just to see how it ended. Unfortunately, this one was a two star read and Ugh, like I feel like once again, I'm just kind of like I don't know like I haven't really read anything great for this whole spookathon and this is the third book that I've finished I don't know. I guess the chain is still the best thing that I've read for this readathon But it's still not like my favorite thriller that I've ever read It's about two o'clock in the afternoon and earlier this morning while I was trying to like film for the morning my camera just died So that's cool I guess I'm not used to like on this new camera when the battery starts flashing that means it's like literally about to die because like on my other Canon camera I can film for probably like 10 or 15 more minutes before it actually dies but on this one I guess it means it's like literally about to die. I just went and got an acai bowl because I'm a basic bitch and I guess it's just the third time that I got an acai bowl just in this vlog. Ooh. Yeah, I mean I'm obsessed but I've had coupons all week. I've had two dollars off my bowl all week so that's pretty awesome. This morning, I had such a lazy morning, like, I didn't really do anything. I woke up at, like, 10.30, but then I just, like, kind of crawled back into bed and just, like, watched YouTube videos all morning. I've been watching a lot of, like, the Spookathon daily vlogs that Chandler's been doing and Riley's been doing daily vlogs, and, like, it's so inspiring that they can do daily vlogs. Like, I don't know how, I don't know how anybody does daily vlogs, to be honest, like... That's a lot of work. <laughs> I've just been like watching all of the YouTube videos this morning, like their daily vlogs, and then I was watching some like ASMR. I was watching some true crime ASMR, which was so interesting because it's like relaxing ASMR, but they're telling like these horrible true crime stories. It's just very interesting because it's relaxing, but also like fascinating and terrifying at the same time. Like it's a lot of mixed emotions. So now I just got back to the apartment. It's about like 1.20 in the afternoon right now and I go into work around four. So I'm just gonna go up and eat my acai bowl. And I don't know if I'm like gonna read anything today. I might just like watch TV or something like I kind of want to see that show modern love. Yeah, um, it's happening. I'm just too curious I really just want to watch the first episode <laughs> The first episode just made me cry <laughs> bitch the fuck <laughs> that was really good Oh my gosh and the freaking mom from how I met your mother like the mother was in the first episode this is a good one. And I remember reading that short story in the book and I didn't really think much of it when I read that short story. Like I thought it was cute, but it was like, whatever. And like, <laughs> oh my God, that first episode was so cute. I don't know why I'm so emotional right now, but it was fucking cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to watch the rest of the show later. Ah, uh, it is so good. So I just got home from work and I'm sorry that I have kind of sucked at vlogging today. And I didn't really do much at all today, to be honest. It was kind of a lazy day for me, which was very much needed, I think. So it was a nice afternoon and it was a quick and easy shift at work. It was pretty busy, but it was nice because it went by fast. Oh my God, dude, that freaking Yankees game. Ugh. That was like the most intense game. You know, this game was the Yankees versus the Astros. And if the Yankees won, then they would go to the final deciding game to see who would go to the World Series. But if the Astros won, the Astros would win the series and they would go to the World Series. <laughs> And the game was so close and the Yankees hit a two run home run in the ninth inning and they like tied it and I was so shook. And then of course the Astros scored in the bottom of the ninth, which sucked because I'm a Yankees fan. I mean, my number one team is the Dodgers, you know, because I'm from LA, but the Yankees are definitely my second favorite team. So now I'm so bummed because my favorite team is out and my second favorite team is out. So now, like, I don't really care about the World Series, which sucks. I'm still probably gonna watch it because, you know, it's the World Series. But still, like, I don't really know who I'd be rooting for, like, the Astros or the Nationals, like. So, <laughs> that kind of sucked. 
I started listening to the audiobook for Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered because it was available at the library and I was just like, you know, it sounds interesting. Like, And I'm on part two out of six and I freaking cried. I mean, I don't know what it is with me and like crying today over, <laughs> over um, you know, TV shows and audiobooks, I guess. But like, it's really, 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 really good so far. Like, I'm loving it. Like, it's freaking hilarious like it's written so funny but it also is making so many good points about like like the main message that it's going over right now is this idea of like fuck politeness like fuck being nice to everyone and putting yourself in dangerous situations because you're too afraid to say no to people it's just really really interesting and it's it's written really well like you can tell that these girls are like comedians that have written this because i was like dying in some parts but it's really really good so hopefully i'll be continuing to listen to that i don't really know if i'm planning on reading anything tonight to be honest because it's almost like 10 o'clock already and i haven't read anything today besides the audiobooks but i feel great it's good <laughs> i think tonight i might just like make myself a quick dinner and then i might just watch more of that paul rudd netflix show or more of modern love like i don't really know i'm just kind of in the mood to watch tv instead of read right now so <laughs> that's what we might do <laughs> It is Sunday morning and it is the last day of the Spookathon. Sadly, I think I'm gonna have to end these vlogs here because I am on my way to work right now and I'm working a double shift today so I'm literally gonna be there all day. And then when I get home tonight from work, me and my sister in winter are having a girls night and we're just gonna like bake some cookies and drink some cider and just like chill and hang out because I haven't seen her, I haven't seen winter in like forever because she's at nursing school. So yeah, there's like not gonna be any reading happening today most likely and there was no reading that happened last night. I actually just kind of like laid in bed and i did watch another episode of modern love and that one was really good i didn't cry though in the second episode i just kind of like listened to more of that audiobook of stay sexy and don't get murdered and yeah it was a pretty like chill quiet night that was nice like yesterday was like one of the laziest days i've had in a while but it was really great so i think that's gonna be all for this spookathon unfortunately i was only able to read three books but again that's kind of like the same that i did last year i guess this year though i didn't really like super love anything that i read so like that kind of sucks but like the chain is probably like my favorite thing that i read and the one the only one that i would actually recommend and then the other ones ended up being two star books so but whatever it's fine i've got night marathon coming up in like five days i think that one starts on friday which is wild i've never done a readathon before that starts on a friday so that will be all for this spookathon vlog so i really hope you enjoyed watching and thank you so much for hanging out with me and let me know if you like the quality of this new camera that i have or not <laughs> i'm still testing it out and figuring out how to use it so thank you guys so much for watching as always and i will see you guys soon with a new video bye